Okay, so first thing I do is I go on YouTube and I try to find a sample. I just found this one right here. Then I go to YouTube MP3 converter and I just rip it. I let it play for a minute and I just listen to parts that I can hear that I want to chop up and make a beat out of. I remember when I was first starting to sample and make beats, I used to try to only um, find parts that don't have no vocals in it where it's just instrumentals playing. But now I don't care about none of that because having vocals in it actually can use the vocals as an instrument too and that makes the beat sound better. And I got a folder October samples as I put the date on it too. So I remember what day I, I sampled it. And so it's easy for me to find and pull up. So then I got Ableton already pulled up. First thing I always do when I, as soon as I open Ableton is I put it down to 85 BPM. That's just where I like to be at. And that's the year I was born too. So then I load this little sampler. This is my MPD 218. This thing only costs $100 and it came with Ableton free. It's a full version it came with. So then let me pull up that sample. Put it in here. Slice unwarp it because I don't want it to be warped I just go off the original you know the original way it was turn down the sensitivity off top I already know I'm going to want this to go faster so I'm going to raise the pitch up a bit uh, let me activate this See, already off top, I already know kind of how I want a beat can go off just off that. That's like a basic little pattern that I always do whenever I first open up a sample is boom, boom. It's like basically like I'm playing the drums but with the sample. Basically, I just mess around with these until I, sa I hear something that I like. I'm not talking to you. I'm recording a video.
so I did that. I don't know. I don't really like how that sound. I think I'm gonna do something different. that I like that whole that was a whole eight bars I'll keep that <clears throat> that's already gonna be like the main melody for the beat I just made I'm a keep that oh wait that was only four bars I'm tripping and now because I have a little bit of lag on my computer I gotta try to line this shit up properly Turn this fan off. Yeah, that's way better. Right now, I'm just cleaning it up so everything is synced up properly. Turn the volume up on it. Let's hear how it sounds right from the beginning. That's only at 76 BPM, and that beats hella slow, so I'm going to speed it up a pitch, and maybe see how it sounds on 80. Yeah. Yeah, see, I want to do that longer before it goes there. So I'm just going to copy this, turn this into an eight bar loop. So copy, and go to eight bars, and I'll move all this over to the end. I think it sounds better as an eight bar loop. Yeah. 
so then right now all I got is that one track that's the main sample then usually <clears throat> you know halfway through the verse after eight bars I'm gonna add something in there so let's see I'll go through the sample and try to find some other sounds I'm gonna put a delay on that. So let's see. I don't want it to be too much delay. Oh shit, I forgot what key I was pressing. What pad? Because I want that to be more of a background sound, I'm going to change the frequency on it so that it's only the mid frequencies. Alright, let me see how that sounds with the main sample plan. Just want to go back, clean it up. Damn, this video is almost 15 minutes already. Let me try to speed it up a bit. This is like just my basic formula for making a beat. If I want to make a beat real quick, and usually the dopest beats I do real quick, and I find out. If I spend too much time on it, like, it's going to start sounding garbage. And I already know I want this to be, the volume on this to be a little bit lower. some drum da dum dums so let's see I gotta think what kind of drums do I like on this kind of beat so let's see I'll pull out another sample 
a sampler. I got a bunch of drums, but I actually deleted a lot of them. So these are some drums that I got. This Apollo Brown one I actually paid for. This Star Boom Bap and all these Ill Minds I got from XR Beats. And then this Beat Butcher one. This one is hella raw. I got this for free. I downloaded it on YouTube. I made like the Barshans beat with these. All kind of shit. Let's see. Now these are loops. And I don't always just... I don't like to always just play a loop. I like to break the loop down and then, you know, chop it up myself. Although sometimes the loop itself is just so raw and it fits the beat so perfectly, I'll just go ahead and keep it. But this is what I'll do. I'm going to play it and see which one of these loops sound good with it. See this, the main sample ain't even that loud, so I want to put some filters on it and some compressors. Isaiah, grab mom's phone. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use that loop. Again, I can't really hear how the beat sounds that well because I'm not with the headphones on right now. Now sometimes I'll go in and make a whole nother loop for the hook. Or sometimes I'll just cheat and just I'll play the the I'll play the beat and then just take the drums out for the loop uh, for the hook. But uh this video is about to be 20 minutes, so I'm gonna leave it at that. But same thing for the hook. I would just, you know, take a sample. I use the auto slice. Then I move the little slices around just until I, you know, find a sound that I like. I got the pads already set up. I make a pattern with the, with the, I'll make a pattern with the sample and that's about it.